Okay, hello, good evening. The sun, the earth doesn't orbit around the sun like we think. Now, I, I will check after making this video to see if someone else has answered this question. With a kind of two questions in one. Why does the North Star move up and down by quite a significant amount throughout the year? So in the summer it's low nearer the horizon and in the winter it's much higher up in the air. Now obviously throughout the year the sun moves up and down as well at the point of midday. But the, the whole sky pivots, the northern sky is the one I can speak for, I've never seen the southern hemisphere sky, but the northern sky pivots around the north star. So why does that move if the earth is orbiting the sun on a skewed axis as they say? Why? Does the North Star move? When the North Star is points north, that's how the whole sky pivots. It's not the same as the sun, as you're doing this round the sun. Sorry, I wasn't... <laughs> that's why the sun moves up and down. So would that affect the North Star? Okay, maybe, but because I said this is two in one, right? At the same time, you've got the, the changes in the length of the day throughout the year, right? Is very, very, very slow changing in midsummer and midwinter. It's by about, for a three day period, it only changes by about one minute. As opposed to in on the 22nd of March and the 22nd of September when it's changing by up to about I think 10-15 minutes a day maybe 12 minutes a day something like that so even 12 minutes a day would be 36 an increase a, a difference of 36 times as much is changing so what is causing that now is it a speed change? Like it's going, the Earth is travelling faster in the spring and autumn equinox and then slows down the summer and winter? Or is it a curvature change? So first of all, I was thinking, well, it must be elliptical. So at the points where it's, you know, the corner is sharper, is that when it changes more? And this was racking my head, right? So the only thing that's possible is if it's either massively elliptical, but if it was massively elliptical, we'd be a heck of a lot further away from the sun in summer and winter compared to in spring and autumn, or vice versa. And that's just not the case. It would have to be a big difference to cause this much effect. So the only possible explanation is it's a pendulum effect. Slow, and when it's coming down through spring and autumn, so this is spring fast, winter slow, autumn fast, summer slow. Sorry, we're going backwards, sorry. <laughs> summer, summer fast, autumn, winter slow. Fast spring, summer, slow. Fast autumn, winter, slow. So I've tried to draw that on the top there. Now, so then I'm raking my head and thinking, well, which way is the earth lying then? Well, during spring and autumn, we get 12, 12 hours each. So on this bottom one here, the sun direction was directly down, the pole was directly sticking out, and the spin was that way, you'd get exactly 12 hours on all of it. 
Now, so as it's going up this pendulum, so it's because the sun is in orbit around the galaxy as well, so everything's sort of in movement. So, the, so we're trailing behind here, and as the pendulum goes up, say towards, well, say we're going from spring to summer, and the northern hemisphere will tilt, tilt slightly in this rocking. If it's more like a rocking than an orbit, you see. So, it, it, so even though it's, it, yeah, this is why it's quite difficult to draw and explain. So, there's some sort of twist as it goes up in the picture. It slows down because, if you imagine, like, when it's going fast, when it's going through spring equinox, the gravity is going to be different. And maybe we can see some um, uh, evidence of this. Maybe there's more earthquakes in in the spring and autumn equinoxes. Certainly knows more weather. More weather stuff happens in the spring and autumn equinoxes. So say so so say is this? I don't know if it's twenty three degrees or not. Well, it is. That's what they say. The Earth's tilt is, don't they? To to explain their orbit model, they say the tilt is 23 degrees. Anyway, this would also explain how the North Star moves. This twist as it goes up. So if you're, this is the north side and we're looking up and seeing the North Star out here. Then the, the twist is how it moves up and down. So when it's in this position, it's up. And then when it's back round to this position, it's it's down. So, uh, yeah, um, it's one of these things. It's actually really quite difficult to get an an idea of what's going on in my head. It almost makes me think about the flat earthers. You know, you know, it's actually maybe they're doing a good thing by sort of alertness to this, the current model of thinking just doesn't seem to add up, doesn't answer the questions. So I will, I will look this up and see if there's some other models out there and perhaps make a part two. But that's that for now. Earth's orbit, or shall we say, pendulum rock. Okay, ciao.